Stephanie Kolak invented Kevlar at DuPont in 1965. 1,4-diaminobenzene and benzene-1,4-dicarbonyl chloride react to form the monomer that makes up Kevlar. The hydrogen from 1,4-diaminobenzene and the chloride from benzene-1,4-dicarbonyl chloride fall off to form hydrochloric acid. The remaining carbon and nitrogen form a covalent bond, and what is seen in the brackets is the repeating monomer that forms Kevlar. These monomers link together to form long chains of polymers which lie parallel to each other. These parallel chains link to each other using hydrogen bonds between the hydrogens and the oxygens. So what makes Kevlar so strong? When a bullet hits a Kevlar vest, the kinetic energy from the bullet is used to break the hydrogen bonds, which are very strong intermolecular forces, instead of going into you and harming you. Some of the uses of Kevlar include Formula One racing car body work and fuel tanks, fighter jet wings, and reinforcement in bicycle tires. There's only one way to do quality control. First, the vest is placed on a clay mannequin. Then, it's shot at point-blank range. The test is filmed with a slow-motion camera. Seen here, in ultra-slow motion, it's possible to follow the bullet as it blasts from the gun at almost 820 feet a second. When the bullet strikes the vest, each individual layer of fabric acts to dissipate its force, causing kinetic waves to spread like ripples on the surface of water. When Bruce removes the vest, the mark on the fabric shows him how the bullet's energy has been spread over the surface. The vest has done what it is designed to do, prevent the bullet from penetrating the torso. Although a high-velocity bullet can still cause serious internal injury from impact alone, the odds of survival are significantly better.